YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Sean here again. I'm Sean's Rabbit Sean Aquaponic Produce, and we're back with another rabbit farming video for you guys. But today, we're taking a bit of a road trip and I'm taking you guys along with me. I'm heading up to Matura to visit Anissa at Holistic Aqua Farms. I'm gonna check out her rabbits and see how that goes. So, we're off. Boy, we off. You're in charge until I'm back. Hey guys, it's official. We in the country. Once we see trees and you know greenery and fresh, clean, fresh air. foliage, not to mention clean, fresh air. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? Okay, guys. Uh, I know you all always looking at forages and what rabbits can eat. Uh, you all see this plant here uh, with these nice, pretty blue flowers right uh what's it called clitoria or blue pea clitoria or blue pea this is one of the other forages if you could identify it in your area uh that you can feed to your rabbits right these are the leaves and these are the flowers right i think the flowers are also edible for human consumption yeah they use uh, to make tea and things yeah, like that yeah yeah nice nice Thanks, Anissa. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite fruits from one of my favorite people. Hey! Yes, people. So, we have arrived. We are in Matura visiting Anissa and the rabbit farm. Come here, Anissa. Come in. Come hey, in. Hey! Ole again. Well, I shouldn't say Ole again. Me again. It's me again. Right. It's you again. <laughs> it's we again. Yeah, 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 yeah. We again. We are to tag in. Right? So, you know, just a cool vibe today. Nothing too heavy. Just decided to take a little drive up to the countryside a little bit and check out my homegirl, Anissa. I've been meaning to visit her for a long time yeah, now. Long, she complained that it's one-way traffic. Yeah. Is really she visiting me. <laughs> You know, you know how you think that's good? <laughs> right, so, so I wake up early this morning. I had breakfast because my only mission for today was to visit Anissa's rabbit tree. Yeah, but you know that means I have to wake up early on a Sunday morning too, eh? Well, all right. Nothing wrong with that. You know, it's a, and, and, and it's a good sunny day for a change. Right? We've been having some oh. terrible weather for the last couple of weeks. Non-stop rain, no flooding. It's right. not terrible. All weather. right. We've been, having We've been having some rainy weather. Very, 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 <laughs> very, very rainy weather. Very rainy weather. <laughs> right? very rainy weather. So, um, I mean, some people suffer some negative effects with some yeah. flooding and things like that. Yeah, yeah, some mafia people had a roof blown off and stuff like that weekend or this morning. Yeah, I saw that as well on the social media. Fortunately, I live in an area that has perfect drainage. Water doesn't stay on my land at all, at all, at all. So we've never had any issues with flooding. I sympathize with those of you who have. Mm -hmm. Right. So, Anissa. Sean. Right. So tell, tell, tell me a little bit about your rabbit tree. What, what got you into rabbits? Uh, Why well, I think about that question, you know, to be yeah. honest with you. A good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, I know you was coming. Some kind of hard question for me to answer. No. Um, I got into rabbits because... I want to do farming. The whole thing is, my concept is, I need to be able to handle whatever animal I see about. Okay. So, I don't want to get into pigs. 
little too big for me. Right. I need to be able to restrain man. I could easily restrain a rabbit. Right. Meat does taste good. Yeah. The meat good for you. It's yeah. healthy. And mm -hmm. I could breed them as I see fit basically because they are induced ovulators. Yeah. You know, so I could basically I, I have a say in when I get the meat. Right. You, you can understand? control the process somewhere. Right. Pretty right. much. So yeah, yeah so it's kinda you know. But well, I hear you mention health. I think that is something a lot of people are uh, not familiar with, at least persons who don't eat rabbit meat, they may mm -hmm. not be aware of the health benefits of eating rabbit meat. Mm -hmm. right. Let me put a little adver ad advertisement there. Yeah. All right. Advertisement time. So, eating rabbit meat. It's mm -hmm. lean. Um, we rabbit producers don't actually use antibiotics. I know for sure you're not even going to bother with that. You will no. slaughter if anybody's sick. No. Right? No antibiotics. You mm -hmm. might find that with chicken, steroids and all the hormones. Yeah. We don't use them things. None of those. Low cholesterol. Mm -hmm. um, the saturated fat levels. Very low. Fat on a whole. Yeah. Very it's, a, it's a lean meat. It yeah, is a lean meat. Lean. And most of the time, people who have health issues turn to rabbit yeah. because they know it's a, a safer meat option for them if they want to continue eating meat. Yeah. yeah. That was a paid advertisement from Sean and Holistic Aqua Farm. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, something that we, we overlook a lot too is the fact that it's one of the easiest meats to cook. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. That is very people true. People always yes. ask me, um, how, how you cook that? I, I never had rabbit before. How do you cook that? What do you tell somebody when they ask me something like that? If you could cook chicken, you could cook a rabbit. Exactly. Very simple. Very Anything similar. you can do with chicken, you can yeah. do with rabbit. Yeah, yeah. The it's, texture of meat is yeah. very similar to um, chicken breast. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That, that's the only thing. The only thing you have to think about when you're cooking rabbit is not a fatty meat. So, mm -hmm. if you want to put it in the oven on high heat, you're yeah. going to be eating you might eat some cardboard yeah 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 don't yeah, do that you need yeah yeah you need to keep it moist uh, i usually add some olive oil to whatever recipe yeah, i'm yeah. doing you know to help keep some of that a little moist there, and there, you know and add a little fat healthy fat yeah and, thing, into the because process it's yeah. a very lean meat you know yeah i but, i i i've just more good to add in more sauce into it this is true that we love sourcing the food sauce, too. Sauce. Yeah. So tell, t tell, me, tell, tell the audience some of the ways that you cook rabbit. Uh, let's see. I've done sweet and sour. We did soup. Whoa, we did soup. We did rabbit soup. We did soup. Yeah. I've done pizza, um, mm -hmm. fried, um, jira. Uh -huh. I've done jerk. I say yeah. barbecue already. I did the oven barbecue. I do slow cooker barbecue. I do barbecue barbecue. Grill barbecue, yeah. I think more the question is what have I what about the done? curry here? Yeah? Oh yeah, well that's a must you know. I mean, I mean it, must, in Trinidad, it's understood. Yeah, yeah. But that's, for the that's rest of the world out there, in Trinidad, we use a lot of curry. We love curry. Plenty. Right? As we say here, level curry. Level curry. So there was a curry, there yeah. was a stew, there was a curry, curry stew. Curry stew, yeah. Which yeah. is my favorite actually. Right. Yeah. So uh, my favorite is, is Jira Rabbit. I find yeah. that Jira Rabbit. That's real lush. Now it could just be me that I'm very good at making jira. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I find a jira rabbit. Uh, a jira rabbit is the um... coming soon. <laughs> a YouTube channel near yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, jira rabbit is my thing. So it's more of a what have I not done with mm -hmm. it? it? Will be a probably be a shorter list. Um, oh, okay. But what about the parts of the rabbit now? Because you know, different parts of the world we treat meat and meat consumption differently. Mm -hmm. Now, in Trinidad, people may not want to eat the head. Right, yeah. But I've seen cultures where they actually eat the head, the ears, the feet. Yeah, yeah, I don't do that. So you haven't had any feet? No, 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 I've had, I've, when they say feet, like where the, where the toes are part of the feet, like this? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I am. No, you ain't no toes. <laughs> I've, I've, I've never ventured to, um, to, to doing that. I usually all right. Cut all right. Body head. Body head. Never had head. Never had it. Head. Never had ears. Never had. Yeah. Guys, let us know in the comment section what parts of the rabbit you don't eat and tell us why. Yeah. All right. Now I've had the head as well as the ears. As a matter of fact, you mentioned jira a yeah. while ago. I did a jira once made entirely out of rabbit ears oh it's lush 
Well, yeah. Look at that. So yeah, yeah. basically, we can have a lot less meat waste. Yeah. If we incorporate more of the rabbit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could um really capitalize and maximize your profit. Yeah, I mean we have already mm -hmm. spent the money feeding them to get them to slaughter yeah. meat anyway. So if we can use mm -hmm. more of the um meat. Yeah. I but, mean, when you really think about it, people eat pig heads. Right, true. I don't. But cow right, head. I don't. Goat head, especially the Jamaicans. I think they have a, a goat head soup that they do. That one is new. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, like so, most of the livestock animals, at some point in time, people consume the heads. So I mean, why not the rabbit? Why not? We'll start a revolution. <laughs> You will start a revolution. Yeah. Uh, rabbit head consumption. Well, you know what? We will, no try rabbit, we will try we'll a rabbit. We will try a rabbit head soup. We'll, we'll, no, a jira rabbit head. We'll try a jira rabbit. Yeah. All right, we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll uh, try all, it. All, all, all here, you just said. <laughs> I am making it public <laughs> that I, I will try it. I won't be the one making it, but I will attempt to eat it. Yeah. Jira rabbit head. All right. I will yeah. try it. I will try it. Mm -hmm. I made it. You see, Sean, I, I, I the whole world knows now, so I can't, I can't, I can't. No, you can't back out. You ah, can't back out all right. at all. We will hold her accountable. So, tell me a bit about breeds, what you have in terms of where you got your stock, things like that. All right, now, initially when I started, I intended to start with New Zealand whites. Yeah. So, my first set of rabbits were New Zealand whites. I got mm -hmm. them from a guy, an older gentleman in Arima. Um, I can't remember how I got in touch with him, mm -hmm. but he had, I went home to visit his farm, stuff like that. We had a little um, business relationship, exchanging other information and stuff like that. And yeah. at the time too, I was also supplying um, water nipples and um, pliers and tools to build cages and stuff. Okay. Okay. So he used to buy tools from me, I bought rabbits from him, right. that kind of thing. But mm -hmm. along the way, you know, I have a friend who say, hey, I have a rabbit for you. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So like, Anissa, girl, I'll give you a rabbit in exchange for... X. Right. So, I got some infiltration of other breeds in the mix. Right. Some some, up, some mixed breeds. Some mixed breeds, right. mixed colors. So, I ended up with greys, I ended up with blacks. I got um Flemish, Flemish mix. Right. Mostly Flemish mixes is yeah. what I got uh, quite you a bit I hear of. a lot of people using that term recently to describe their rabbits. Flemish. Flemish. No, Flemish that's Flemish. Mix. Oh, is that Flemish? Well, a Flemish supposed to be like 10, 15, 20 pounds. <laughs> I, I know, I don't I know, have I know Flemish giants, but I see people just describing rabbits as Flemish. No, that we like uh, to abbreviate everything. Flemish is short for Flemish, right? And, I mean, and rabbits that don't look like giants. I don't know. Well, that's why so I thought maybe it was a new breed that I haven't no, discovered. I, 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 I think it's a local breed. It could be. I just assumed that they meant Flemish giant, but to avoid saying Flemish giant, which is two words, just say Flemish because it's Flemish. one word. Right. I don't have Flemish giants. All right. I have All right. Any, the mix If up. you all have Flemish giants, let me know, please. I'm looking for a nice, good Flemish giant buck to do some terminal cross breeding. All right, if you're doing more terminal crosses, I'll leave the link to our video on that topic in the description below. You looked at that video, right? I looked at all your videos, Sean. All right, <laughs> all right. I'll just check in. I want to know if she's really a supporter of the channel. Of course, you know? I pay yeah. attention. I, just I pay attention. I know she's one of my biggest supporters, man. But what was your main purpose? You wanted meat production, or it was just meat? To... Meat. My whole my whole business concept mm -hmm. is supplying food. Right. So I have so small rabbits who want to pets and whatever because well, it pays. Yeah, every now but, and then you're bringing something. Right. Yeah. But I'm strictly about producing food. So, um, ducks is for meat. Yeah. Rabbits is for meat. I grow the pumpkin and the pop up. I, I supply right. food. So, basically, it's mm -hmm. mainly for meat. And I'll try to wean off of the, the pet yeah. supply and just stick to producing strictly okay. for meat. Okay. Lovely. Lovely. You know, we don't do pets at all. Yeah, I know. I know. Right. We're not a pet store. Right. I could recommend you to someone who sells pet rabbits if you're so inclined but we focus strictly on meat production mm -hmm. so we sell breeding stock geared towards meat production right yeah. right so i'll probably have to make a donation 
Tanisa's rabbit tree. You know? That's mm -hmm. something. I saw I saw a very big smile oh, come across your face. Really? Hey, well, I didn't I'm, even finish what I was saying. Oh um I don't know, my face just did I don't know what my face I can't okay, I don't okay, know. Okay. I forget what I was saying. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Right. So, right. So, let me. You you built all your pages for yourself. Yes, I have. Well, I don't have these scrapes to prove it because they're peeled. These right. scrapes have peeled, but yeah. I I went through the headache of yeah. cutting wire. Thankfully, mm -hmm. grinders exist, so yeah. cutting wire. But mm -hmm. when it was time to clipping them with that G clip pliers, mm -hmm. so that was yeah. Cage building could be uh, rigorous, uh, sometimes dangerous task. Very much so, right? very much so. I know from personal it. experience. Well, you might you see I still have a oh, lot yeah, of yeah, visible yeah, marks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over the years, as long as you're into rabbits, you're gonna have some cuts and scrapes to show some battle scars, I like very to see. Yeah. If it's not from the cage building, right. it's from the rabbits it's themselves. From the rabbits themselves. Yeah, yeah. Right. Let me see. I got one yesterday. Um, look. See? Yeah, they, they oh, you all could see that there. You all seeing that three distinct lines on my hand there? Yeah, that's from a naughty doe who just didn't want to be held. And she right. hasn't been eaten? No, she's still with us. Hmm. She's still with us. Surprisingly. You know, I try not that. I try to, you know, not be too emotional and make hasty decisions. Fair so, enough. Fair she's enough. still with us. Fair enough. Well, I know how hard cage building could be at times, so... How much hours, how much, well not hours. man hours, how much woman hours or days you think you invested? Um, wow, I'm not even sure now. I did, I did it like, I get up in the morning, do a little piece, do a little piece in the mm. afternoon, that kind of thing. It days, took a while. weeks. For each cage, let me say a week, probably about a week per cage, yeah. so two weeks, yeah. I guess. Two weeks, but, top and bottom. Yeah. Okay. And these are the cages are twenty feet, twenty feet by four feet. Four feet wide yeah. by eighteen, right? So yeah, give or take a week. That's just a, mm -hmm. a rough mm -hmm. estimate of only building cage yeah. to, for the for a full a full week. Okay, what size compartments you have? Um, two and a half by two. Two and a half by two. Right. So each cage right. gives me um sixteen cages. Right. Each level. Yeah. Each tier. Yeah. Each tier is sixteen. Has sixteen cages. So I have thirty two so cages. Thirty two. Mm -hmm. compartments in all all right say so how many those box breeders so um i currently have 10 those two box in terms of breeding how often do you breed okay. my breed back cycle is a month, a month. i'm about to look into cut down i try to cut it down to two weeks i want to cut two it down weeks. to two weeks okay i just give them a two weeks rest and yeah because i want to, i would like to ramp up production, production but yeah. usually um i i start i started off giving them a month just uh, I know pregnancy it 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 put it puts a toll on a woman mm -hmm. you know so just to yeah. bring them back up to health and <laughs> but I think I think two weeks will be good enough <laughs> they could handle it now yeah I think um the two weeks breed back cycle is really geared towards commercial production right uh, and it's okay as long as you have proper nutrition yeah so you have a good quality feed. Uh, you use whatever supplements you want to add. Right, and I have forage. Right, and add some forages as well. Right, as we mentioned, supplements uh, coming soon. Another add to the market. We're going to have our Pro Cage Probiotics for Livestock. Right, we've been using it on the farm a while now. It's working great. Uh, we have trusted a few key farmers to use it on their farm as well and tell us the benefits. So over the next couple weeks or so, I'll be visiting some of these farms to see the effect okay. or the changes that they've experienced since they started using the product. Right? right. So coming soon. Tell right. farm here. So you have a two week breed back cycle. Yeah, well, um, that's what I'm, I'm yeah. going to Oh, you doing. want to get that to his rebound I'm, I'm going to. Right. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, and what, what, what age are we now? Six weeks. Six but weeks. Because I'm going to be going on a two-week cycle, yeah. I'm going to have to... Cut back to about five weeks. Right. 
four and a half weeks. There about yeah. 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 So the species is gonna have a, a few days before. Yeah. It's about a week. Before she gets. Yeah, it's yeah. about a week because we do a two week breed back as well and we wean at five weeks. Five weeks, well, okay. Yeah. So I'll just follow that. Five weeks. Yeah. You know, and it's been working, you know. I I actually find that you get a more consistent production from a doe that isn't rested for too long. Okay. All right. All right. You see, especially in cases where you're doing natural breeding, mm -hmm. those that are rested for long periods tend to give a little problem to breed when you when you want to breed them. Okay. All, All right. right. So sometimes you might find I, I've seen cases where people have called me in fact and said, uh, "What to do? I have this doe. It's three weeks now. I'm trying to breed her every day, and she don't want to breed." And so you know, some a lot of the times when you ask them when last was she bred, you know, they say things like, uh, "Well, when they kindle um, uh, after a wean the litter at five weeks, I allow them to rest for two weeks." Before I breed them back, oh. and I say okay, okay, all right. That is that is definitely they basically rest, and they rested for about two months. Yeah, in total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. you know, and there are a lot of studies that show that when rabbits are bred consistently, mm -hmm. they produce better and they're actually healthier as long as you're feeding them properly. All right. You know, because when they rest for long periods of time, sometimes they they, they build up a lot of fat. Yeah, okay. And fat those don't breed well. Yeah, yeah. Well, right? we, have problems with conception that. and things like that. Yeah. So, you know, you're trying to keep them lean but healthy. You know? All right. Yeah, and the, the more they breed, I mean, it, it will work out for us as producers because yeah. the more they breed means the more kits, which means mm -hmm. more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't, you cannot think of commercial production with long rest periods. It doesn't make sense. Right, so a month is too long. Yeah, two months is way too long. Way too long. All right, you know. But then again, to each his own, right? Because a lot of people have the emo emotional attachment to their animals, so they feel that they must be rested and before they are rebred and things like that. Right. Fine, I have no problem with that. But it's not for commercial production, right? You heard it from the man himself. Yeah, rabbit production is. A numbers game. Yeah. You make money in rabbit from turnover. Mm-hmm. Correct. Right? Some people make the mistake of trying to grow the biggest rabbit, thinking that they will have more meat to sell. And it's actually counterproductive because yes, it is. that fast growth period are the first 10 to 12 weeks Correct. of the rabbit's life. Yeah. That's yeah. when their feed conversion is, is the highest. Is the highest. Yeah. That's you know? very true. Yeah. So once you go beyond that three month mark, you're actually suffering diminishing returns. Yes. Because you're feeding more feed for less for gain. less gain. Yep. You know? So that's something to note, people. If you're looking at going to it commercially, focus on turnover. Grow your rabbits out quickly and get them to market. Because the longer you keep them and feed them, the less profit you actually make. Right? So guys, I'll give you all a quick tour. Show you all the cages. I see Anissa have a, a nifty drop-down nest box there. That you want to check out. She's going to tell us what was the whole inspiration behind that nest box. Alright, no right? problem. Let's, Let's go. go. Okay guys, so here we have it. As you all can see, it's a two-tiered cage system uh, with waste collection, PVC gutterings to guide the waste away and down to the end where it's collected. You have an automatic watering system. Stop of in. course. 
question. That's not a question. That, that, is, that is not a question. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not a real question, yes, right? Uh, of course, <laughs> right? We have uh, automatic waters and all of that, as you can see. Uh, tell, I see you have some uh, wire around yeah. the waters there. So the nipples that I use come. Yeah. They come with the, the attach. This plastic attachment. So that you could connect it to your PVC to pipe. The PVC, yeah. But that's made from plastic. And um, if you know anything about rabbits and right. plastic, <laughs> right. they don't go together. Right. So to save myself the, so, um, the so, headache. The so you're hassle, protecting the water from the rabbits. Yes, trying to make my investment last yeah. a little bit longer. Yeah, we Just know they could be long. very destructive. Yes. Right? So you have uh, automatic water. Uh, so this uh, drum here would be your reservoir. Yes right where you will also add whatever supplements Correct. you yes. want and it will all trickle down to these guys here so let's check out these nest boxes nest here boxes. so yeah okay. so these are my um that this is what i'm currently using for nest boxes trying to get out of the having to put in a nest box every time I yeah do candles so nest box it's put and what in. it's made out of what gauge wire is that same, this is the same 16 gauge 16 wire gauge. that the cage is made from. This All is, right. It is the same wire. These are um, off cuts yeah. that I used. And, um, okay, I see you're missing one side there. Let me come in closer. All right, so we're missing a side here. I guess you'll explain that in a little while. Right, so this here, when I attach this to the cage, this remains open. So I'm going to be putting a door here. All right, so building cage, see my hand? See my hand? Okay, yeah. so there's actually a hole that you cut in the floor of the cage. How, how big that hole is? This is 8 by um 10. So then the box is attached from the bottom of the cage. Correct. All right. So so we have one here. All right. That this little guy is in here. Yeah. So this is the door. So you, right. So you actually have so, a door there so you can access if you want to uh, take out any kits that died Correct. or anything like that. Very easy access. I don't have to, you know, somehow some some mothers get after mm -hmm. they kindle. It could be a little overprotective. Yeah. I don't have, I don't risk my hand. Right. Okay, okay. Right. So, cage, easy see? access. So, so that's it, guys. So, I noticed that the arm... Um, the nest box is bigger than the actual hole yeah, it that is. you cut. It is. Just to allow it to a little shelter space in case yeah. the hole drops down. So they right. can be in a corner. Right, right. Um, it might also help to keep the kids in as well, preventing them from being dragged Correct. out Correct. when the mom jumps out. Yeah, sometimes they hold on and they get dragged out of the box. And you, you don't have any issues with the mom fitting into that space. No, there she, she drops down and she fits in with, without an issue with the space yeah. as is. Lovely, lovely. All right. Do you put any like um, bedding material in there? <laughs> yeah, piece of pond liner. <laughs> okay, okay. So this, you just place... When when um, when are those expected to kill? The same yeah. way as we would advise to uh, put in... Your nest box two days before she kindles i put yeah. in my pond liner two days before she's expected to kindle it prevents kids from their feet from their paws from going through the sticking in the wire the right, wire. right All so right. i just when i'm finished it's plastic wash it off and you're going to go again good to go until next time lovely lovely yes guys so there you have it i know we um we we, we talked a lot yeah. We discussed a lot of things. We gave you all a lot of good information. We hope that you find it useful. Of course, if it's your first time showing up here with us, please hit that subscribe button. Also, check out Anissa's channel as well. Like, uh, you, you're going to upload this video there as well? Yeah, of course. Yeah, well, her version of this video will also be available on her channel. I'll leave the link to her channel in the description below this. Give us a big thumbs up right now. Don't wait too long. Don't not the down, the up. Right? Give us two big thumbs up. Leave right? some comments in the comment section. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about the farm, the rabbits, the rabbit meat, what you eat and don't eat on the rabbit. Let us know in the comments. So guys, that's it for me. I'm heading back to Wallafield. See you guys soon.